Hi everyone, I'm Gemma Chan and today I'm going to be showing you a bit of my skincare routine and my modern, easy, soft focus red lip look. I am using L'Oreal's Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which works really well. I had quite a late night last night. I haven't had much sleep, feeling quite tired, but hopefully I'm gonna wake up my face a little bit. My secret weapon is a caffeine eye cream. Just very, very gently dot under my eyes. Hopefully encourage a bit of drainage of the puffiness. So my mum was very keen on skincare and beauty and she got me started in my teens, kind of cleansing, toning, moisturising. You know, that was her number one rule, always make sure you look after your skin. Although saying that, she did let me run around on the beach with no sunscreen in the 80s. So this baby, which I call my eyebrater, which is not its actual name, um, it's an eye massager and it mimics the tapping motion of like a Korean facial just to encourage uh, drainage. Sit in the car on the way to work at, you know, three, four in the morning, just with this on. It does that thing, which looks quite aggressive, but actually feels pretty nice. And you can also put it right into here. Roller. This one is by Joanna Check. Usually I like to start with my neck. I will go like this, down the sides, bring it in. When I finished with the rolling and all of that business, I will moisturize. If I'm going to an evening event, don't have to worry about sun, sun's gone down. Um, I love this one, which is an Augustin Espada. I would love to say that I am really, really strict and um, do a whole bunch of things to keep my skin great, but to be honest, um, I have a tendency to overindulge at times. Uh, I don't always, well, very rarely get enough sleep. The main thing is to, like my mum said, cleanse, tone and moisturise. <laughs> She's saying that I have <laughs> once woken up in the morning with um, a, a wipe stuck to my face. I obviously passed out in the middle of them. Um, take off my makeup but I there we go at least I made the effort beauty for me is it's about self-care it's about having uh, some time for yourself during your day um, you know in the past I think the beauty industry has been very much focused on you know preying on women's insecurities and you know that not being such a great thing but but now it's much more the messaging um, and I think it's going through that it's about time for you you know you don't have to do it for anyone else it's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to give yourself that time. Very important to prepare if you're doing a lip later. A lip mask or a lip balm. I'm loving this one at the moment by Laneige. Foundation, using a Bobbi Brown foundation, which I find lasts really well. My main thing is I don't usually like to wear any base on my forehead. Just use it where you need it. Just kind of where you need to just balance out the complexion a bit. So I have a little vein here that I just go over. The other thing you can do if you don't want um, it to be too heavy is you can mix this with your moisturizer. So I learned to do my makeup, I think probably from watching my mum in the first instance. My mum loved Princess Diana and had um, she had every single one of Princess Di's hairstyles at various points in the 80s and 90s. So yeah, it was a, a lot of a lot of hairspray, a lot of Elna involved. Concealer, Laura Mercier. You know, when I was growing up, um, it was a pretty homogenous idea of beauty and advertising in the media. There's definitely, thankfully, uh, more diversity, more inclusiveness, and a, a celebration of um, yeah, the whole wide variety of us, we come in all colours, shapes, sizes, all of it. And the more we see it, the more we just realise that that is, um, is beautiful and um, there's not just one idea of beauty. I also use a corrector uh, in Bisque Bobby Brown. It works for me because it has a kind of 
it's like peachiness. So I like to just pop it on there. Yeah, I don't like to put um, concealer too far up um, to the lash line. I find it kind of closes off the eye area. So, you know, I try and keep it kind of just, just where I need it. A little bit of Tushika. So I use a mixture of two and three. So again, just if you have any little shadows, little powder. Addicted to this classic Tom Ford bronzer. And I like to just, someone told me this is called a temple drape. Um, I know some people like to kind of do it in the hollows of their cheeks, but I, for me, I, I think it looks just a little bit more natural kind of on the cheekbone where I would, where I would tan. So I used to be such a sun worshiper, love to sunbathe, obviously terrible for your skin. Um, so I, I miss it very much. Love these uh, Swish and Pop Charlotte Tilbury's. And then I like to wear it quite high. So as we are gonna do um, a bit of a lip, I'm gonna keep the eye relatively simple. I've got some eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this one here and we're just gonna... So I bring it up quite high and just do a wash over the whole lid. I'm gonna use this shade here and I'm just gonna do a really, really soft bit of definition. And I use quite a, a big, fluffy brush and blend it up. I'm gonna go in with the same color. Everyone has their own preference. I like to use dark brown eyeliner. I find, um, well look, black is very dramatic. You know, it's full on for, uh, for this look. I'm gonna go for something a little bit softer. I like to do a little flick at the outer corner. What to do is to use a cotton bud just to soften the edge so it should it's not a hard line i was a teenager in uh the 90s so it was that kind of supermodel era you know cindy crawford lucy Liu, i should say as well who um you know i watched on tv um in ali mcbeal and charlie's angels and you know representation is um it wasn't that great in terms of uh Asian representation when I was growing up so kind of anyone who was Asian that you'd see on TV it was kind of a, a big event so but yeah those are my inspirations. Next step, curling the lashes. Mascara. This is Lash Paradise by L'Oreal Paris. It's a waterproof black so I like to do bottom lashes before the top and the key thing for me is I think Wipe off the brush. If it's too much on the brush, you're gonna have clumping issues. Little zigzag all the way through. So a good trick is to use a clean mascara brush to just comb through or a lash comb uh, to take off any excess. And then if there are any clumps at the end, it's good just to pinch the ends. Just gonna brush a little bit through. I definitely over my eyebrows in the 90s and 2000s. My mum always told me never over pluck your eyebrows. Of course, I didn't listen to her. It's taken a while for me to grow these back. So if I feel like I need filling in, which I think I'm okay today, I use a little eyeshadow, trusty brush, and just, just gently fill in the gaps. But brow setting gel. This one is great. The brush is great on this and you can just push the hairs. This is good. Let's do a little. Sometimes it disappears when you put a bit of base over the top but yeah just bring him back. So I'm going to show you um, a modern red lip. Um, you know on the red carpet sometimes I've done quite strong with a red lip liner, really defined lip. This is much uh, easier to wear. A few soft focus. A wonderful makeup artist showed me this trick. She calls it, I think she calls it like snog lip look. I don't know if you 
Americans know what snoggy is. It's um, makeout lips, well, snoggy lips. Um, I, rather than using a red lip liner, I like to do an invisible lip line. So I'm gonna use this Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. So today I'm gonna to be using L'Oreal Paris Colorish number 125 Maison Marais. good amount on just in the center lips together and then the trick is we use a fluffy eyeshadow brush and we just gently buff out the color so again we're not taking any hard lines it's gonna be really soft focus the great thing about this is a really easy way to wear a red look. I'm not going to be worried about it smudging, ending up over half my face, even if I've been wearing a mask. Don't really want a joker situation going on. I'm just going to knock up the blush now that I've seen, got the eye and the lip on. I think I can go for a little bit more. Final step, I have been using this Makeup by Mario highlighter and I am just again just use my fingers take a little bit on there I'm just gonna put a little bit there we go I have finished my look I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and that you found this helpful see you soon